One thing that you can do with clone is it's really handy is that you can um, clone objects onto other objects. So let's make an example. I'm just going to create a um, I'm going to create a tube. Okay, so a tube is just a, a, a just a plain object, uh, a primitive that's in um, in Cinema 4D. And once we've created it, we can use these little dots that are located around it to change its parameters, to sort of change its height and its thickness and its size. We can also go to the uh, attributes down here and we can change, for example, how many segments it's made up of. And if I turn these segments right down, we get an angular uh, looking tube. If I go to my display menu and turn on this grow shading with lines, I can see a little more clearly how many segments I've got in this and what effect that has on the overall shape when I change this. So that's my tube. The other thing that I've got uh, is, a, is a sphere, which I'm just going to create, create object sphere. And uh, I'm going to make the sphere quite big. Now I'm going to create a cloner and I'm going to clone my tube onto the sphere. So I'll show you how that works. Let's go MoGraph cloner. Here's the cloner. I'm going to put the tube in the cloner. Oops, there we go. Now we can't see it because it's hidden behind the sphere somewhere. Now there's my tube in its cloner. Now the default function of a cloner is to make three copies of something and shift them on the y-axis. And this is what we call a linear array of clones because they are created in a line and we can have more of them if we want. So that's one type of cloning. What we're going to use is a cloning system where you can clone onto another object. So in my cloner, under the mode, I can clone onto an object. So in this object tab, I've got an object field. And this is the object that we want to clone onto. So if I drag and drop my sphere into here, I've now got a bunch of uh, those tubes cloned onto my sphere. Now I can go back to the cloner and I can change how they're actually stuck onto the surface of this object. So if I go to my cloner and go uh, into the object tab, uh, the first thing I'm interested in is how are these tubes that I had, how are they distributed across the surface? Currently, they're, they're placed on the, um, on the sphere at every vertex. So a vertex is everywhere that the lines or points meet on this object. That's a vertex. I can choose, instead of to put them on vertices, I can put them on edges. Or I can put them in the center of polygon faces. So that's the center of each of these little tiles. Or I could just distribute them uh, randomly across the surface. And if I do that, then I can change how many clones I've got and how they're distributed uh, and uh, how they appear across the surface. Now, the other thing that I want to be able to control is how my tubes sit on that surface. At the moment, they're lying flat. I'd like them to stand up so they're pointing outwards like spikes. So to do that, I can select my cloner go to the transform setting and this is, a, this is a tool for changing the individual positions of each clone. So I can change the rotations and if I go through these, eventually one of them, if I change it to about 90 degrees, will set my tubes up so they're pointing outwards from the surface. Now I wanted mine regularly spaced across the surface so in my cloner under the object tab I'm going to put them at every edge. Now if I change the amount of segments in my sphere, I get more or less clones.